Okay, so uh, let's go kit out that new ACWR. It it's not very good. Owns it's what? a bullet no, It owns. It owns bones. Well, I'll a check bullet it out. Or, you know, whatever. I have 305 kills with it, just so you know. Well, I'm not nearly as good. You have no life. life. I'll see what I can do. I know. Oh, well, there it's all I use first. on every class, so whatever. It crashed. No. Owned? Ooh, hey, M134 for only 49. I wish it would saw me where I asked it to spawn me. Man, so many people left. Oh no. Man, we don't have four people on our squad. Yeah. Right? And I'm 134 for 49.9. No, not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. How much is it? 49.9. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I really wish it didn't force you back to assault every single fucking time. It's four if I'm spawning in your better seat here. It sounds kinda dirty almost. Yeah. Don't worry, I just linked you to a semi. Uh, you can buy a trigger pack for it and... Okay, we won't disable that tank, that's fine. Well, I'm trying to get back to him. Where did he go? I don't know. Oh, Jesus! You can buy a transferable uh, trigger pack and make it full auto. I think that's if the only way out, to do it. If you let me know so I can recover. Oh my god, this thing is a bullet hose. Okay, let's check the elevator up and then uh, bail out to one of the points. I really want one of those though. I know they're ugly. What? An FN FNC. I hope no one's gonna greet us at the top. I love this thing's iron sights. Or a day we Here it goes! Do. That would solve my. Are you parachuting with the bomb? That's amazing. It's battlefield. I'm providing close air support, kind of. Kind of. Okay. okay, it's in the right doorway. Okay, I'm no longer providing close air support. The enemy attack chopper is. Uh, stop. Which one? Right over there. The one you licked. Oh. God damn it! Don't buy that. I don't. Why? I want one. Do you have two grand to spend right now? Yes, but <laughs> my wife would fucking kill me. Relink it. Relink it to the whole channel. I want to spawn see on the party chopper. I just did bought it. a Tavor. We did it. Good I job, guys. I just bought a Tavor. She would spawn in the party chopper. She would end me. Oh, it's, it's probably started. Yeah, I might put a bit down on that. That's it. One God damn it. Can you relink it? I'd like to see this. I only linked it to Gilroy. I'll link it. Okay, Sporks, we're gonna try to provide you with your Oh god! Hey, what are we doing? Sporks, there's a vehicle coming in your position. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Would you. Yeah, that's the paratrooper model, that's right. That's the one that I want. Okay, I'm gonna get the bomb. Chopper, can you pick me up? Yeah, I'm headed there. I've only got 60 health, so it's a 40% chance at the. I'm being shot at. Oh, go look out! Look out! Enemy chopper behind you, chopper! Bombs underneath the chopper! God damn it! <laughs> like, directly underneath the pilot seat where I can't get to it. Yeah, it happens. My landing was too perfect. As usual. And to try to unlock the ACWR now. Uh, party chopper's heading towards the bomb, 300 meters. Okay, I'm landing on your location, preferably not directly. Right there, dudes. Let's see if I can kill a couple rifles and get that. I think I rode kill you, so. Or not. Oh, I don't know, I'll probably no, get rid of the No, it's a sniper that's got it. He's going for the MRAP. Oh, so I'll tell you my uh, my range story of the day. I went to the indoor range. It's just me and my buddy. We're on one lane, and all the rest of the lanes are empty. And in walks this dude, and the range officer's like, "Take whatever lane you want." So he sets up next to us, and he's a fucking lefty. 
so every time he shoots, we have to fucking get out of the way because he's just slinging brass into our faces. <laughs> what a fucking shitlord! Who the fuck? You're out of range. Dude, you're out of range. It fucks. Got a little something. How much? I'm sorry. Have a I can't turn the gun around and shoot into the wall. And if I, I could, check brass into his area. I could. I'd have had to move lanes, and the range officer would get pissy. Nice job. Oh wait, we just. Although I was tempted to do it because I had my uh, my PTR with me, so I could just sling 308 brass 20. 20 miles an hour into his face. Wait, a 308 indoors? Yeah, this range goes up to uh, 20 millimeter. What? what? Yeah, same yeah. thing at an uh, indoor range near me. Do you have to use frangible or what? No. Uh, Dude, uh, I they want... usually force you to use house ammunition. Nope, not here. I want to hang out with you and go to the range and shoot a 308. It's not that exciting, but sure. Oh, I can get rid of one. So... That'll pay for it. Sucker. Wait, what? What caliber? 6.5. Swedish. <gasps> oh, I thought you were going to go 6.5. I was excited for a second. Now I'm Bomb on is at that. That's sort of where it was last time. I heard I'm in your... I'm headed towards you. Oh, there's a tank there. Hold on. You're broken. That'll be chopper. No, it's it's fine. I've just been uh, interested in a GAP in 6.5 Creedmoor. It's just like a fucking chopper graveyard right there. Yep. GAP makes some beautiful ass. The enemy rifles. has the foam. Oh wow, we're being uh the enemy team has four more players than we do. That explains a lot of it. Nice job. Probably have a few blocks in there that you'll accidentally find that you can sell. No, I'm I'm pretty sure that 19 was the last one. I honestly don't remember buying that one. I really don't. It happens. Everybody. Everybody buys a gun occasionally. I've done it once or twice. I laugh, but that's not the first gun that's happened with either. Yeah, like I said, even I've done that. You have to at least drunk by a gun once in your life. <laughs> um, it's never been drunk by, it's just... Flat out, don't remember. Alright, I sleep by maybe then? Sure. I have a buddy that does that, he will wake up and be like, What the fuck did I charge to my credit card? My buddy did that, and he uh, had a stormtrooper helmet arrive at his door one day. Wait, That's what awesome. did he do? Sleep by. He got really drunk, and he ordered a stormtrooper helmet off. Of, oh, like, I'm awesome. on. I have a buddy that doesn't get drunk. He just sleep buys. Like he. So now wake he up keeps a stormtrooper helmet next to the liquor cabinet to uh, <laughs> keep him in check. I do have a drunk buy. Do you? Yeah. What is it? 700 SPS, which I did not need, and it's complete garbage. And Pretty much. Fucking hate it. I still have it. Reminder. Okay, this is the worst job of pilot ever. It really is. That's stock, you know, stock. Is Melina a goon? Fucking piece of shit. Who? Yeah. Our awful chopper pilot. Who you could modify it and probably make it worthwhile. If, you know, I could get a nice stock and probably repel it. Call me the true the action, maybe. That's too much work. I don't want to do Where'd that. Where'd the bomb go, by the way? You'd have to, yeah, you'd have to get a new stock. That is a good question. Glass bed. Uh, they're... They're silver soldered, the flash hider is. It's a faux flash hider, it's not a real flash hider. It's so Kilroy, you live in Kentucky too? He does not live in Kentucky. <laughs> oh, how far from Kentucky? 
like... Uh, I think it's like a four hour drive to Knob Creek. They bored, yeah, don't right. they? What? They're bored, don't the they? I'm gonna they? die, I'm gonna be vicey. I They're can't crying. fucking hear you. He's asking if we border one another, and the answer is oh. no. No. I don't know why I thought Kentucky border Missouri. Uh, the, the, the geography of the United States is very precarious and weird. So. It's really annoying is not a word I would normally use to describe yeah, geography, but either. okay. I'd use it to describe a cliff. It's apparently dangerous in some way. Yeah, but well, geography is, sometimes yeah. involves cliffs oh. and or the Golan Heights. Uh, hey. Um, no, it's really sad, because I can, like, like, if I look at a map, I can tell you what every state is, but I don't rem always remember who they border. Like, yeah. offhand, unless I'm looking at a map. But, you know what? It doesn't want a border. What? Obamacare. Oh, snap. Thanks, Obama. Uh, I'm, I'm looking really at pissed a... off that Obamacare is getting fucked this hard right now. What, uh, what are you talking about? I don't know. The, the... Republicans. Who cares? But yeah, impressive but Republicans are, uh... Who cares? We're talking about guns. Like, this fucked by uh, the healthcare industry, too. Kilroy. Run us this hard yeah. into the ground. It looks like $12,500 will get you a transferable FNFNC. What does oh, transferable mean? Do what? I'm getting one. Where it link me. What does transferable mean? Is that just for full auto? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Were you looking yeah, at subguns for that? Or? <laughs> no, I just... I googled transferable FNFNC, so now I'm gonna go to subguns and see if I can find one. Well, isn't... Aren't some states just allow you to have full auto regardless of if they're transferable or not? No, under fe the transfer system is federal law. Oh, so they have to be over a certain a uh, age or something? 21. They have to yeah. be... Yeah, they have to be made prior <laughs> to 1986. Also, oh, 18. Person, the guns, yeah. Okay, where is the bomb? Oh, but wait a minute, like, well then why do some states allow straight up full auto and some don't? Right? That's just state law. Okay. Hostile chopper spotted. Just out of your position. I really do want to, like, go on a spinning binge, even though it would cost as much as buying a gun, but I'd like to go to the Vegas shooting range and fire some crazy ass shit. It's expensive, you know. But as I said, it would be as expensive probably as buying a gun, they but I'd like to go. I am aware of that. That's how most places work. Yeah, but if you get well, your it own, adds you know, up real quick look around and you can get it's pretty easy to deal. Yeah, like but I... it would be much more expensive for me to buy a full auto gun than to go to the range. Oh yeah, yeah, but just shop around. You'll, Holy you'll shit! Get some deal. I found I got my M2 for a fucking steal. Yeah, but then again, then again, I might look. I don't have as much money as you do for one. Number two, I very well might be moving to New York City, so I wouldn't be able to own a gun there. Oh, yeah. Could you find a job? There you go. No, New York still City? Oh, God, what happened to the building? You don't have any money, so you're moving to New York City. No, I, if I get a job in New York City, I'll move there. <laughs> if I get a job in New York City, I will move there. But basically, I'd like to move there because that's where my family is and I'm close with them. Somebody posted just the seer if you, uh, if you want the seer. I mean, granted, if I move to somewhere like fucking Pennsylvania, fuck yeah, I'll get a gun. Pennsylvania. I'd probably be in Philly, so not quite Pennsylvania. Uh, buying the Seer is way cheaper. Buying a Seer and buying the actual FNC is way cheaper than actually doing the transferable, because most of the Seers go for under three grand. So total, you'd be looking at five but grand. But Seers are what are Seers? It's what makes the gun full auto. Oh. Yeah, I've never shot a full auto gun, and I would love to. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure it is. I know it is. I mean, Jesus Christ. Shooting semi auto is fun as fuck. The firearm blog actually posted an interesting article on it early in this year about how the FNC is the affordable select fire 556. Alternatively, just go on vacation to like Saudi Arabia or some shit like that. So, yeah, if you could get that FNC for two grand, this year's about three grand, so you're looking at $5,000. We uh, kill right. I'm gonna see if I can flip something in time for it. I am still so pissed off that my gun got fucking stolen. What, what did, did you have? have? I just had a SIG. What SIG? They made uh, like 10,000 different guns. SIG Pro P2022. Where'd the gun yeah. go? Where'd the bomb go? I really oh, liked it. No, I got a lot of shit for buying that gun, but I really liked it. 
it's a great starter pistol in 9mm. It was the first gun I ever bought, so yeah. It's a great starter pistol. But yeah, like, TF gave me so much shit for buying a Sig Pro, and I'm like, dude, A, it was affordable. Yeah, but that's TF, they'll give you shit for sneezing, so... Yeah, that's true. But yeah, no, it was a great, it was affordable. It wasn't the cheapest, it wasn't the cheapest yeah, pistol, but it was... Tenement Funster. He's, it was affordable, he's it was been a lot of fun to shoot. Car it was him, yeah. super fucking easy to clean and take apart. Because I think, let me recall, I think it was like four or five pieces when you just uh, field stripped it. So it's like, you know, just the the body, the slide, the barrel, and the, or the spring, and the spring, whatever you call it, the thing that holds the spring, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. What, what? I'm sorry, I was reading a lot of shit. You know, you know on, a, on a, a, a pistol, the thing that holds the spring, what's that thing called? The guide rod. The guide rod, yes, thank you. Um, I think if I were to buy a new gun, I'd probably get a PPK, uh... Maybe a PPK? PPK? Don't a PPK? PPK. Why PPKs not? Are, they're fucking cool. Because they're, they're, they're cool, cool, but they're not great guns. Then maybe they're, get a PPQ. They're only the good PPQ. enough for James Bond. M2 is a great trigger. It's a great Glock clone that made a better version of Glock. The PPQ So M2. here, if I, ever do buy another, if I ever do buy another pistol, um, it would be a, a Glock, a 1911, uh, maybe oh. a PPQ. I never thought I'd say this in my life, but I would now get a high power before I would get a 1911. Yeah, but aren't high powers? Let's get a high power. Why, why, why a high power? Because it's the best shooting it. pistol that I own. By far. But aren't they only like 22? No, no they're 9 mil. They're 9. Oh, I'd like to get a 45. It's what the CZ, uh, CZ80, or the CZ... CZ80, or CZ... Okay, the bomb's pretty the close to where it needs to go. It's like 50 meters from there. The thing that I would do, which I know you guys are going to probably get shit for, is um, get an antique pistol. I, I've got a Remington pistol yeah, from 1926. I have shot a couple antique pistols and I've really enjoyed shooting them. They were revolvers. Uh, they are both Smith & Wesson. One was a precursor to the m and I think it was... I looked it up in a book once, a serial number. Put it in 1907, I think? So one of the 1905 Dirk Pays models. No, it was not a Dirk Pays model prior to that. There wasn't one prior to that. Okay, well, it wasn't a military police model, according to the book that I looked at. Also, it had uh, Mother of Pearl handles, which was pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. It was pretty so fucking ugly. dope, dude. It was my friends, it was my it was my family friends' pistol, anyways. The other They're one was guns. a. Those are I thought it looked cool. Um, and it was fun as shit to shoot. It was a uh, 38 special. Um, the other one that I did, that he had, uh, was a, I believe it was a 1940 to 1945, I don't remember exactly the date, it was a, uh, large rimmed 45 revolver, uh, it was basically also a military issue, uh, pistol. Who has got the bomb? Come to the helicopter. Large rimmed 45. Yeah, I'll try to find it, hold on, it was a Smith & Wesson large rimmed 45, um, and shit, we weren't even allowed to. We only got special permission to shoot at the range Bombs because we only had a limited really. amount of ammo, but it wasn't coded, so they were like, yeah, you really shouldn't shoot that there, but we'll give you an exception. No. The other one that I shot, which was fun as shit, but jammed all the time, obviously, was an Ambu. <laughs> Dude, I just think it's so cool that he fucking has an Ambu, for shit's sake, right? Junk. Yeah, junk, but cool. Yeah, they're neat. But I don't know, any gun that ships with extra parts from the factory because shit will break, that's a problem. As far as I'm concerned, any gun from World War II that's not made anymore is pretty fucking awesome. I really want an FNC. God damn it. Well, it's from World War I. <laughs> uh, uh, but the Nambu, the Nambu was really fun to shoot, even though it did, like, fucking jam. Um, Headlocker's origin is Headlocker. As an ER. And it was, yeah. dude, uh, Kilroy, right? And the extended I, release version, yeah. Kill. Kilroy, I think I still have pictures of it somewhere, but I mean, it was like an what amazing I did inside edition. your mom last night. Even the paint for the uh, fucking like marky the uh, armory markings on it was still there. I mean, it was fucking amazing condition, and I think it was the eight millimeter Nambu, not the seven. Right. I don't know a whole lot about the Nambus. 
Just that uh, you can squeeze the grip really hard and set the gun off without actually pulling yeah, the trigger. Yeah, no, I am aware of that too. <laughs> I actually, before I went to shoot it, um, I did a lot uh, of research on it because he had like two different ammos. I pending requests already. And he wasn't sure which one it uh, was That's for, so I did quite a bit of research.